Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. For today's video, I want to talk about how to set up audio monitoring in OBS Studio if you are using Ubuntu Linux. Now there is definitely a good number of uh, monitoring tutorials out there on YouTube, less for OBS users on Ubuntu. So I actually did a video like this before, but it was about two years ago and a bit more complicated than it needed to be. So I'm just gonna try simplify in this video. As you guys see, I currently have OBS open here on my desktop. The first thing you want to go do in OBS is configure your audio input source. So I'm going to click on file here on the top menu on the right on the left there and then click down into settings. Now I'm going to click on the audio menu. Now I'm currently recording this live so I'm not able to make adjustments. I've talked before how about when you're using certain audio interfaces like the Behringer Euphoria UM2, you actually need to set the channel to mono rather than stereo. In any event, the microphone I'm using today is the Behringer Euphoria UM2 audio interface. And as you can see, just to keep things simple, I've disabled other non-active audio sources. So that's the first thing I recommend you're doing when you're monitoring because it can get confusing if you have multiple audio streams coming into OBS that you're not using. So this is it, PCM2902 audio codec analog stereo. That's what I want to monitor. So I'm gonna click okay here. Now coming into the audio mixer, as you can see the levels are moving. So this only input is the one I want to monitor. I'm gonna click on the uh, cog wheel just to the right there. And then I'm going to click on advanced audio properties. Now in advanced audio properties, we have the name of the microphone, status. We can configure a gain boost. We can configure the left right balance if we are using stereo. We can configure a sync offset if there are any latency issues. I'm using 60 milliseconds of latency. And finally, we have an audio monitoring tab. Now clicking that open, we have three options. By default, it's not going to monitor. We can monitor only and mute the output, or we can monitor and output. Let me explain what the difference is between the last two because monitor off is self-explanatory. If you do monitor only and mute the output, as the name suggests, you're just going to be monitoring that audio stream and it's not actually going to be making its way into the recording. So the vast majority of times you're going to want monitor and output. You're going to want to monitor the stream and you're going to want to record it. So I've just clicked monitor and output and it's a little bit distracting now because I can hear myself speaking as I record because I'm using OBS to record this. So that's pretty much it. Now just one, I'm gonna actually turn this off so I don't confuse myself. And that's how you turn it off. Now one thing to say is that if you go into your pulse audio control, um, as soon as I hit monitoring on, we're going to see this as an audio source. And the one thing that can go wrong is if you have a bunch of uh, audio sources set up, like you might have HDMI output, you want to just make sure that that's going to the right place. But this is more troubleshooting steps. So I'm just going to go ahead again and turn monitoring back on. Now I'm going to drag over my pulse audio. And if we go into playback sources, we have a playback channel for OBS monitor and it's going over built-in audio analog stereo. If, if I were to send that to the interface, I'd get a loop back and it would not work out as intended. And that's basically it, I'm gonna go monitor off. So if you're looking to monitor your audio source in Ubuntu using OBS, that is how it is done. Definitely, uh, this is something really, really worth doing because it's always easier to make sure your audio sounds good before in pre-production rather than trying to fix your audio afterwards in post-production. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you'd like to get more videos from me on OBS, Linux, technology, and other subjects, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Have a great day.